Good evening, everyone. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Good evening. Hello, Wendy. Hello, Jennifer. Daniel. Good evening, Carla. Hello, good evening. Hello, Daniel. Okay, do me the favor to activate camera, please, if you don't have any problem with it. Good evening, Abel. Hello, Abel. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, good evening. Good to, good to see you here. Hope um, you are okay, and I hope you are willing to start a new a new class. So let us wait a little bit for the rest. Hello, Juan Carlos, how's it going? Well, I I need I need everybody to to be over here because I, I I need to have some review about something we started in about simple present. Okay. Yesterday I was just noticing that's important to have some review about this. Now, can you see the info there, people? Yes, uh, do and does. We're going to have a general review. Meanwhile, the rest of the people uh, get into the class, okay? This is quite important. But before getting into this activity, I, wanna I want to listen to, you, to every single person in the class. For example, I have Jennifer. Jennifer, what do you remember about uh, the class we had yesterday? Jennifer, madame? Yeah, please, Jennifer. Repeat, please. Uh, what What do you remember about what about the class we had yesterday? Um, yesterday, um, um, estamos usando ahorita los eh, los pronombres das y do con el presente simple. Present simple uh, auxiliary is do and does. That's what you remember. Sí. And also, Wendy, Wendy, thank you, uh, Jennifer. Hello. hello. Sorry? Uh, you were not in the class yesterday. Okay. Well, let me see. Uh, Juan Carlos, you were not in the class either. Neither, right? Well, uh, as Jennifer said, yesterday we were uh, uh, talking about simple present, but also we were talking about questions, right? Questions in English. Double-edged questions. Those questions are uh, with uh, words such as what, when, where, uh, why, which, how uh, much, how many, and uh, what time, etc. right? So that's what we were studying yesterday. And yesterday I noticed about the importance of presenting this information, the use of do and does, because it seems that uh, we, we tend to 
face some problems when working with this activity or when, when, when working with this uh, grammatical structure. All right. Let me see. So, as you remember, with I, you need to use do, auxiliary do, I do. Okay, important. I do. I don't. I don't work on Sunday, for example. Can you can you tell me another example, people, with do? I don't work on Saturdays. What would be the double H question for that statement? I don't work on Sundays. What would be the question, the double H question for that statement? Now, if I ask, hey, if I if you said, if you say, hey, teacher, uh, yo no trabajo los domingos, ¿qué pregunta surgiría a partir de esa frase? Yo no trabajo los domingos. ¿Qué pregunta surgiría? A lo mejor, ¿por qué no trabajas los domingos? Ok. Esa sería una double H question, right? So, I don't work on Sundays. Uh, the question may be, why don't you work on Sundays? Ok. Or, if we want to create a just no question, uh, do you work on Sundays? Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Remember about it, right? I do. Yes, I do. Uh, Denise. Hello, Denise. Good evening. Hello, hello. I have Denise. I have Obed. Hello, Beth. Are you able to see the information? Hello, can you listen to me, people? ¿Me escuchan? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. I thought I was alone in the class. Pensé que estaba solo en clase. Okay, necesito, por favor, que eh, me respondan. Y que pues interactuemos, ¿ok? No me dejen solo acá. Necesito que ustedes pongan en práctica lo que se les ha venido enseñando. So, I do. Hey, can, who can tell me another statement with this one? Another sentence. Hello. No. No more statements. Now let's see what's going on with this, right? Now you do. <clears throat> Remember, you do. Can you please tell me a double a, a question with a, I mean a double H question? Can me da un ejemplo de una oración con con el, que, donde lleva esta frase? You do. You do. Is there anybody here? Um, what activities do you do on Sunday? Okay. What do you do on Sundays? ¿Qué es lo, qué, qué es lo que tú haces los domingos? What do you do on Sundays? Right? Important. What do you do? Is there any other example? What do you do? What do you think about the movie? And now, yes, yeah, it's getting better, right? What do you think about the movie? Good. Is there any other one? Do you like, what do you like, Papa? Why do you like to? What do you like, Papa? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't listen to you the last part. Uh, uh, what do you like to do? Okay. You said, you said soccer? Uh, so the question would be, why do you like to play soccer? Why do you like to play soccer? I think that's the question, right? Thank you. Is there any other question would you do? 
No? Okay, let's see the next one. Let's see the next. Okay, we do. We. Is there any example? Are you, do you have any example with we do by using we do? Hello? Any question, people? We don't like to go to the cinema. Is there any other one? We don't have to go, we don't have to do the, um, the homework tonight, for example. Another, do you have another one? Can you create another one? Hello, hello. Hey, I wonder what's go what's happening to you tonight. Let me see because it's important. I need to see why you are not uh, interacting with me tonight. Now, Jennifer, can you listen to me? Hello. Hello, hello. Can you listen to me clearly? Uh, can you listen? Yeah, can you listen to me clearly? They say yes or no? No. <laughs> no, yeah. you, do you, you don't listen to me clearly? Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, yes. you listen to me clearly. Okay, very good. Okay, Wendy Trejo, do you listen to me clearly? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay, very good. So you're there. Fatima, can you listen to me? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay, so... Well, actually, I, I, I thought that it was the internet, okay? The one that was uh, creating problems. But actually, I can see that you listen to me clearly. Um, well, Daniel, I know Daniel is there. And uh, let me see, Denise, can you listen to me? Denise, Elizabeth? So you see, Denise may be uh, facing some problems, okay? Oved, can you listen to me? Hello, hello, Oved. Well, I don't know what's happening tonight with these people. Henry, you are there, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah, okay. Uh, remember that you need to type your name, right? Whenever you get into, into the class, okay, get into the class by using your name, okay? Uh, Evelyn, are you there? Evelyn Janira? Well, uh, let, us, let us try to continue, people, because this is... This is a review, right? About the auxiliary to and does. Remember that we are still working with simple present tense. We do. If I say, uh, I go to the park. Uh, if you want to, if if you want to to invite someone to the park, how would you do it? Hey, why don't we go? Why don't we go to the park? Okay, why don't we go to the park? And then somebody will say, hey, it's a good idea. Let's go. Okay. Then we have day two. Day two. What do they do? When do they go? Why do they think Etc. Right. So we have been creating double H questions. Uh, or we we create double H. We have to create double H question by using auxiliaries do or does. In this case, is do. Let's see if we have something here. You do plural form, right? 
he oh here is where I want you to to pay special attention. He does. Can you tell me a, a question with by using the auxiliary does? Hello, hello. Auxiliary does. Now, one question. Pueden ver la información que estoy desplegando, jóvenes. Yes. Okay. So it's not the internet. It is not the presentation. So what's what's going on tonight? Let's see. So he does. The other one's about she. She does, right? She does. Let's see the next one. Uh, when we talk about a, a pet, you say it does. Hey, how do you say, what is the word ladrar in English, people? Bark. Ah, uh, so we have bark here. Okay, I got it, Evelyn. Okay, we have bark. Uh, remember, we have questions. Okay, we have questions, different questions. Okay, such as, hey, do you brush your teeth every day? Do you brush your teeth every day? Then what is the answer with, to that question? To say, yes, I do or no, I don't, right? But uh, how many times, now pay attention with this. How many times do you do you brush your teeth every day? Ahora es diferente, ¿verdad? Si yo le digo, hey, do you brush your teeth every day? Entonces, la me, todos me van a decir, yes, I do, right? Do you brush your teeth every day? They say, yes, I do. Pero si usamos, how many times do you brush your teeth every day? ¿Cuántas veces te cepillas al día? So you say, twice or three times. Okay, so. Yes, I do. Yes, I brush I brush my teeth every day. Now, negative form, remember that we have to use don't, do not, or don't. That's it. And uh, give me one second. It's over here, right? No, I don't. No, I don't brush my teeth every day. Now, does she clean her teeth every day? Yes, yeah, she does. Yeah, she cleans, remember, right? So we're, ha we're having a novel review about person simple. Yes, yeah, she cleans her teeth every day. Yes, yeah, she brushes her teeth every day. Remember that we were talking about the different uh, rules about forming the person simple. General review about it, people. Uh, no, she doesn't. No, she doesn't clean her teeth every day. No, she doesn't brush her teeth every day. Okay, now double H questions are coming. Remember who refers to people, okay, person or character, what is used for things or actions, uh, where refers to a place. When refers to a time, refers to time. Why refers to purpose or reason and how, by uh, what means, in what way. Some more examples. When does she clean her teeth? Okay, take a look at it. Double H plus do or does plus pronoun plus a complement. Where is it? It's over here, right? When does she clean her teeth? When does she clean her teeth? That's the question. A little practice. Well, over here we have some some exercises uh, that you that you have to put into practice. I think it's I can I can. I can share it with you. 
in the chat so that you can practice there. Okay, there you are. Now, any question, people, about the review? I will stop sharing this. Preguntas acerca del repaso que acabamos de hacer. No question. No questions. Juan Carlos. Well, yesterday we were also talking about the agenda, right? ¿Quiénes son los que no participaron con la agenda ayer? Let me see. Juan Carlos. Hello, Juan Carlos. Eh, yo a ti, Jennifer ah, Guadalupe. Ok, Jennifer Guadalupe. Go ahead, please. Okay. Go ahead with the activities you, you do daily. Ok. My name is uh, Jennifer Rivas, assistant of production. Uh, 520, I have to uh, from a la 5 y 20 to sit, I go to three bathrooms and change and prepare lunch. A la 6, I do work uh, at 5 at 6.50 I have to work for breakfast um, 70 at 7.15 I start to work from 7.15 until 12.11 try my luck Util 12.30. 12.30, I go to bus to work. Util 4.30, where I love to work. Phoenix, please. Okay, pretty cool. Now, is there anybody else who wants to participate about the agenda we created yesterday? Well, so if if you if there are no other participants, let us work in the following. Okay, let me see. Quiero quiero saber si todos están este uh, conectados o si hay alguien que tiene alguna algún problema de no, de conexión. Porque veo que ahora pues como como que hay algún problema porque eh, no sé si será internet que nos está fallando, pero me está costando interactuar con algunos. Let me see, Juan Carlos. Can you see, Juan Carlos? When is it there? Daniel? Good evening, teacher. Voy en camino. Ah, okay. So that's, that's it. That's the reason, right? Jennifer Hernandez, we have Carla Maria, Evelyn, eh, Fatima, Obed, Esperanza, Henry, and Denise. Okay. Well, I hope that it becomes it, it becomes better tonight. Let's do something. Okay. Let's do something. Uh, since we're going to start talking about the expression what time, so uh, I don't know if if you are able to say the time in English. Otherwise, we're going to go and investigate it now. Vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Vamos a invertir um, 10, 12, yeah, it may be like 15 minutes. Vamos a invertir 15 minutos. ¿En qué vamos a invertir esos 15 minutos? Bueno, vamos a buscar... Uh, información de cómo decir la hora en inglés. ¿Ok? ¿Cómo decir la hora en inglés? ¿Cómo preguntar la hora en inglés? ¿Ok? Y, pues, necesito que preparen 
con la información que encuentren, una pequeña eh, presentación, ¿ok? Y nos digan qué fue lo que uh, investigaron, lo que encontraron, la pronunciación, las preguntas, todo lo relacionado a uh, cómo decir la hora en inglés, ¿ok? So, let me see, I think it would be better if we work in groups. Vamos a hacer dos grupos. Okay, let me see, top two. Yeah, we're gonna work in groups. Vamos a hacer dos grupos. Okay, in those two groups, en esos dos grupos, necesito que preparen esa presentación, okay? Okay, people. Hello. Okay. Okay, okay, Jennifer. okay, okay, Esperanza, pretty good. Okay, uh, vamos con los dos grupos y acuérdense, el objetivo es buscar información de cómo decir la, la, la hora en inglés, cómo preguntar la hora en inglés, um, etc. Okay, so let us start. Vamos a trabajar en esos dos grupos. Hello, Jennifer. Hola. 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 Fátima. Hola. Hola. Hola, Fátima. ¿Me puede, por favor, repetir otra vez la, la, la actividad? Ah, dijo que teníamos que ser este como cómo se decía la, la hora en inglés y luego hacer así como una pequeña conversación. Ok. Entonces, no sé, podemos comenzar así como, como hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Y a qué hora te levantas o a qué hora entras a trabajar? O sea, así para que se mencione, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh, ok, ladies, ladies, I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh, right now, I want you to investigate about the way to say the time in English. Solo uh, por el momento quiero que investiguen cómo decir la hora en inglés. Diferentes maneras de decir la hora en inglés y hacer una pequeña presentación en donde nos muestran la información que encontraron, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. Sino que para, para, para decir una hora, por ejemplo, dice at. Será, at sería, plus. what time is it? Eh, ¿Qué hora digamos, son? Hey, las ocho. Ajá, por, ajá, pero para decir por lo, por lo menos, son las, ¿qué? Son las nueve. Entonces sería, okay. sería, it is eh, eight, bien. Pero ya sí, si se pregunta otra cosa, ya no, so, ya no es it is, sino que se pronuncia 
que dice que puede usar. Por ejemplo, si pregunta qué horas tienes, dice, what hours do you have? Ajá. Pero ahí. Vale, pero sería que hay que hacer una presentación, creo. Respondiendo a esas preguntas que nosotros mismos nos estamos haciendo. Oh, ok, sorry to interrupt. Remember, the idea is for you to investigate. Pueden usar el internet para, para investigar cómo hacer preguntas de, acerca de la hora. Cómo uh, decir la hora en inglés. ¿Cómo decimos, por ejemplo, eh, son las nueve y cuarto en inglés? ¿Se puede decir de una manera solamente o de dos maneras? O... Eso es lo que yo necesito que, que investigue. Las nueve y media, ok, etc. Y cómo, cómo hacer preguntas, ¿verdad? Okay. Tipos de preguntas referente al tiempo. Uh, si encuentran una presentación y nos la pueden mostrar, excelente. Y si no, pues ustedes la van creando y nos la presentan. Esa es la actividad ahorita, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. okay. Las nueve y cuarto se dice it, it, it is nine fifteen. Hello everybody, is there any, any problem over here? Is there any, any question? Obed, Daniel, Evelyn, Fatima, Esperanza, Gabriela, what's going on? I, I don't listen to you working. Uh, maybe you have assigned some activities. Well, we're going to spend like five minutes more and then we're going to get back to the, to the class. Vamos a estar cinco minutos más para que logren terminar y de ahí re, nos reunimos nuevamente en un solo grupo, ¿ok? Juan Carlos, Henry... Jennifer, Jennifer, usted ahí está, ¿verdad? Ajá. Y Wendy y mi persona. Ah, o sea que somos siete y solo hay que, hay que bendición. <risa> Ponemos en el chat. Somos la, seis. La investigando. Ajá, Ajá lo que podemos hacer. Yo, yo les voy a compartir una imagen de lo que yo encontré de cómo se ¿Cómo se dice la hora? De, la, la, las diferentes formas uh -huh. de, de, de decir. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ahí les mandé este ahí dice la forma directa y la forma indirecta. Y también otras formas dependiendo del de grupo de amistades, creo yo. 
también incluye eso. ¿Hola? También incluye eso, le digo. Sí. Sí, o sea, yo siento que la forma diferente de preguntar la hora. Aquí está no solo como dice la forma directa, la que dice el libro, uh -huh. sino que hay otras formas de, de preguntar la hora. Quiero ver. Uh -huh. uh, it is forma yo directa. tengo la imagen de, de cómo decir unas ciertas horas, pero no sé cómo cómo compartirla, porque con el teléfono que estoy en clase, no es el mismo con el que estoy buscando la información. Ay, vale. Y se lo mando un a WhatsApp. Screen, ajá, un screen, ay, pero es que el WhatsApp le va a caer a todos. Eso, pues sí, esa es la cosa. Eh, lo que voy a hacer, se lo voy a mandar a la persona que usted, y no sé si usted lo puede mandar. Vaya. Creo que ya, ya le cayó. Ajá, ya. Ahorita lo voy a mandar. Pero el teléfono Bye. me cuesta. Sí. Igual yo con las compus que tengo no, no me han funcionado, entonces por Aquí, eso tocará toca estar con el teléfono. Sí. Vale. Ahí, me, ahí mandé lo que usted mandó. Vale. Gracias. Va. Esos son ejemplos de ciertas horas que podemos mencionar. Exacto. Uh -huh. Hola. Hola. Hola, hola. Sí. Sí, ¿qué tal? ¿Qué, qué investigó? Eh, fíjese que yo ahorita, ahorita me voy conectando. No sé qué es lo que estaban eh, tomando de la clase. Dijo que eh, necesitaba que este, investigáramos sobre las diferentes formas de decir la hora en inglés. Ajá. Y que tenemos que hacer una presentación. Diferente forma de decir la hora en inglés. En inglés, sí. Yo estaba viendo una presentación y eh, cuando es eh, como en punto se dice o'clock, como la 12 de las 7 ah, en punto es o'clock, 7 o'clock, siempre se dice esa palabra. Y este, cuando es que lleva eh, un número y después sigue como las 10 y 7, 7 minutos. ¿sí? Entonces se dice it's ten o seven. Se, se para describir que va un cero antes se dice o oh, o oh. oh, okay. algo así estaba en, eh, encontré algo así. ¿Con quién estoy yo eh, eh, en, en grupo? Esperanza. ¿Verdad usted? Sí es que cuando yo me conecté yo vi que nadie estaba conectada y dije bueno y qué pasó aquí. Me volví a salir, después ya me tiró con un, con un compañero que se llama Obed, pero nunca me dijo nada. Sí, yo no, ve, no veía a nadie tampoco conectado y estuve hablando y no me contestaban. 
Mm -hmm. Decir la hora en inglés dice más allá del o'clock. Cuando se dice como en punto. Oh. Eso es lo que he encontrado. Uh -huh. Voy a ver si se lo mando de otra forma. Y así. No, no, me, no sé, me sale blanco. No me sale en azul para, para verlo. No sé por qué. Sí, no te... A ver, no es que, sea, que es que, que lo mande al grupo y decirle al tita que se lo puede compartir, porque a mí no me sale. No sé. Va. Ya vamos a, a, a ir con el tema. Ay, Dios mío, qué rápido. Sí, 51 segundos, 49 segundos ya. A ver. Okay, everybody. How, how was it? Was it difficult to investigate about the, the, the time in English? Well, I think it's not that difficult, right? I hope that you have got uh, that you have obtained good information. Okay. So why did I ask you to go and look for information relating related on how to say the time in English? Well, let me tell you this just before going to to your presentation, okay? It happens that uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna learn or we're gonna uh, continue talking about double H questions, um, and also this expression is is you know it's related to the information that I asked you to to investigate, okay? And you see. We studied this last time. Uh, this is this is the this is the that's the agenda, right? Okay. Yesterday we were um automatically uh, expressing the time in English, right? We didn't study about it, but how do you say that uh, uh that that time, people? What time is it? in the agenda. What time is it according to what you investigated? Seven. In... Ay, How do you see the, the uh, I mean the time in English? According to what you investigated, You should start by saying it's seven fifteen. That's that's it's the way. Seven fifteen. Yeah, that's seven, seven fifteen. Is there another way to say that hour? It's quarter to seven. 
It's a quarter after seven, okay? Uh, very good. Is there any other way? If you don't, what about this one? How do you say the time in English? It's half past eight. Ah, you see, it's half past eight. Good. How do you say ex an exact hour? Uh huh. Night and clock. Ah, you say night o'clock, right? <laughs> when you have when, uh, how do you say mediodía in English? Noon. Ah, uh, noon, right? How do you say medianoche in English? Midnight. Ah, midnight. Yeah. Okay, noon, midnight. Okay, how do you say this time in English? Uh -huh. How do you say es la una y cuarenta y cinco in English? How do you say that? It's quarter to two. Uh, it's a quarter to two. You, you may say it's one forty-five. Both are all right. What about this one? Five and fifty-three hundred. It's five fifty-five. Or mm -hmm. it's five to six. It's five to six. Now, now, now that you know about how to say the time in oh, yeah. English, so let's see. Well, yesterday we were talking about about it, right? So just give me one second. Okay, what time is the video call with the with the West Company? What time is it, people? Yesterday we solved this one, right? Ayer lo resolvimos. ¿Cómo nos quedó la oración? What time is the video call with the West Company? Hello, hello. Hey, what time is the video call with the West Company? Did you solve it yesterday? We only have three questions right here. Now, do you see what time? We, the, 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 the book is trying to introduce the expression, what time, right? So what time? Yeah. The page is the... Yes. Give me one second. It's the 33 people. 33. Is a part that about the agenda about Mrs. Robles agenda. Yesterday we were saying about the activities she had at a certain time, right? And now, and also we saw these sentences yesterday night. What time is the video call with the West Company? Ah, uh, seven. It's. Um, it's at it's uh, eight. It's at eight fifty. Uh, it's at eight thirty. Or, ¿qué otra manera dijimos para decir las ocho y media? <laughs> okay, it says eight thirty. All right, let's, let let us let us leave it like that. So, what time is what time is the video call with the West Company? It's at eight thirty. What time does the workshop with the research department start? Workshop. Where's the workshop? So here, right? What time is the workshop? Is it's uh, nine o'clock. I say is 
at at nine o'clock. It's it's at nine o'clock. And the last one, what time does the company close? <laughs> what time does the company close? At At uh, eight. At five. On five. You say five minutes. Five fifty-five. Yeah, we say five fifty-five or five minutes to six. Five to six. The way you said it, right? Okay, so it's it's like that. Now, uh, over here. Is uh, well, we're gonna encounter some expression with what time? Okay, what can somebody help me to read, please? I want you to interact more tonight. Quiero que interactúen más esta noche. Me están dejando solo en esta clase. Veamos. Can somebody help me with the with the reading? Can me ayuda a ir leyendo, por favor? What time? Okay, what time is the expression, right? And answer. Okay, or there you say answer. Answer. Okay. Answer. Tenemos como hacer preguntas y tenemos cómo se responde. Ya vamos a ver. So what is what is the first question? What is, what time is what time is it? Oh all right. Hey, what time is it? Do you say it's 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 what time one. yeah what time is it in the example what time is it there ¿Qué hora es en el ejemplo? One, one, it's okay it's, it, when, yeah when, when you are asked to provide the the, the, the time and and somebody um asks, it's it's it, one oh eight it's 108 or otra manera de decirlo you say it's a minutes after one two a, after ten yeah it's a minutes after, after one now, where is the second question, people? Can somebody help me to read? What time does the meeting start? Hey, what time does the meeting start? Can somebody help me with it? It starts at 11 o'clock. It starts at 11 o'clock. Okay, very good. So you see, what we have here is present simple, the at is quite important to say it over here, at 11. That's why I was just um, asking you to, to tell to tell the time in the right way when we were like discussing about the la this lady's agenda. Now, the, the third question, people. What time do you arrive at work? All right, hey, what time do you arrive at work? Answer? About six or 40, 40, it's 48. Okay, six for eight. Or you may say 12 minutes to seven. Now, questions over here. Can somebody help me with the, this question? Question over here, people. What time do employees... What time what do employees... Do empl employees level? Leave. Leave. Yeah. What, what time, time do employees leave? Leave. 
live. 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 Ajá. Answer. Usually, uh, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Around. Ah, gracias. Usually, se... usually. Ajá, ¿cómo se pronuncia la segunda frase, palabra? This one is usually. Usually es, luego. A around. Usually around. Around. Six or six. Daddy. Okay. Usually around seven or seven thirty. Okay. Now here, these are the questions. Okay. Now uh, this is the page number thirty-four. Okay. And we have five statements over here. Tengo o tenemos cinco oraciones, cinco conversaciones. Okay. Y ustedes las van a completar. ¿Cuánto tiempo van a tener? Siete minutos. Ok, seven minutes. Page 34. Siete minutos. No voy a hacer grupos. No, nada. Acá nos vamos a mantener, pero trabajando en estos ejercicios. Siete minutos a partir de este momento. Ok. So, for example, the first one. There is a repeat. <laughs> Sorry. There is a recruitment of a new employee on Tuesday. Really? ¿Cómo, ¿Qué es lo que hace falta acá? Miren, ¿cómo, cómo van a crear esa, esa pregunta? Ok. Bueno, para crear esa pregunta, tengo que ver qué es lo que me están respondiendo. Y acordarme que, qué es lo que está el teacher tratando de comunicarnos. What time is it? What time does the meeting start? What time do you arrive at the work? What time do you employees leave, etc. Right? Más de lo que ustedes pues fueron a investigar referente a la hora. Okay, seven minutes. Siete minutos, chicos.
Okay, five minutes, five. Okay, one minute and then we start. Well, okay, I think that is in that was enough time, right? For you to solve this exercise. Let's go over it again and then you help me to complete it, please. 
What's the question now here? Somebody is in the chat. I will check it now. It says, really? Okay. Esperanza. Okay, I have this. Really? What time does it start? Good. Okay, so that's the first one, right? Number two. What's going on with this one, people? If you want to use the chat, use it. Okay, somebody sees in the chat. That's Quindy. So number two, great. Right here. Good. Thank you, Wendy. Hey, let's meet for the meeting on Wednesday. Great. What time do you arrive? I arrive at eight, uh, 15 a.m. Good. Simple like that. Let's go over the next. Number three. Tomorrow, I have to go to the photocopy center. Me too. The photocopy center open. It opens at 6.50. 6, uh -huh. So here's a, it's a part that's missing. What is that part? Use the chat, dictate it to me. The way you want it, but let us try to solve it. One time now. Sorry? One time, one time now. What time? Okay, let's see if it is what time. That. Yeah, me too. But give me one second. Let me see somebody included in. Yeah. What time do you tell me? Tell me, Henry. Eh, bueno, yo lo, lo, lo busqué en el traductor y me, me, me tira diferente. What hour is it, is it? Será que estará bien así? Si time? lo pongo de esa forma. What? En la tres. Yeah. What hours? Is it the yeah? That's right. You you, you don't ask about center open. Yeah, it, it it is very if you say what time. Don't don't ask what hour. No 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 no. What hour? No. What time? What time? What hour? Uh -uh. Hey, me too. What time? Do or does? Uh -huh. What time does does what the photocopy uh send it open? Okay, so here is the answer, right? What time does the photocopy send it open? It, it opens at 6 50. Number number four, right? <laughs> Number four, Wendy, do you want to have dinner with me after the workshop? 
Yes, but restaurants close there or uh, close here. Oh, around 7 25. What is the info that's missing over here? Use the chat if you don't want to, to speak tonight. What but time? What time? No. Let's see. What time? They say do, right? Let's see if it, if it makes sense. Yeah, but what time the restaurants close here? Yeah, oh, around 25. Good, thank you. And the last one, Amanda has to take some reports to many departments on Monday. And they open. They open around 7.30. <laughs> one time. Uh -huh. And what time? Yeah, what time what? Do. What time do? Let's see. What time do they open? They open around 30, uh, 7 30 or 5 after 8. Good. Excellent people. Okay, now I need uh, two people for conversation number one. Quickly, please. Estemos prestos a participar, así la clase fluye de mejor manera. Okay, number one. Solo necesito dos personas. Que lo lean, que lo vayan leyendo, así como lo resolvimos. Any volunteer? No hay voluntarios. Yo. Okay, thank you. What time is recruitment of new um, employees on the Thursday? Yeah, but uh, only, only, let me see. There is a recruitment. Hey, what's the meaning of this word before continuing? ¿Qué significa esta frase o esta palabra? Recruitment. Recruitment. Ah, reclutamiento. All right. Very good. Uh, about what? New employees, right? New employees. Yeah, new employees. Okay, now yes. We're more than ready. On Tuesday. Yeah, there is a recruitment of new employees on Tuesday. Really? What time does it start? What time does it start? It starts at nine. Okay, lo único que estoy haciendo mal acá es que no le he puesto mayúscula a la, a la pregunta, okay? Okay, and now yes, right? Hey, there is a recruitment of a new, of new employees on Tuesday. Really? What time does it start? It starts at 9 a.m. Okay, thank you. I need two people to tell me about number two. Que me ayuda con la, con la conversación dos. Yeah. Okay, Henry and Wendy, I think, right? Let's, uh, let's, let's try it. Henry. Um, let me for the meeting on Wednesday. Read. What time do you arrive? I arrive at a fifteen a.m. Hey, uh, Lucy. Uh, thank you very much. Right. So here we have. Let's meet for the meeting on Wednesday. Great. What time do you arrive? I arrive at 8, uh, 15 or 15 after 8 or a quarter after 8. Henry? 
Is that right? Yes. Okay, number three. Tomorrow, well, tomorrow I have to go to the photocopy center. Me too. What time does the photocopy center open? It opens at 6.50. So, more volunteer, please. Necesito dos voluntarios más. Uh -huh. Let me see. Volunteers. You will read only, right? Okay, thank you, Wendy. Yeah, you can start now. But for what time do restaurants close to? Oh, around. It opens. So you're yeah. this one, right? Number three. Okay, thank you very much. Hey, tomorrow I have to go to the photocopy center. Me too. What time does the photocopy center open? It opens at 6.50. Something that you need to keep in mind is about this, right? De las preguntas, lo que yo siempre les he dicho. Okay. What time does the photocopy center open? Miren, ya no está en tercera persona. Porque tenemos el auxiliar. Que es con lo que comenzamos esta, esta noche, ¿verdad? Okay, number number four. We're almost done with this part. Volunteer. Is there any volunteer? I will mention. Is there any volunteer for number four? Me? Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead, please. Okay. Wendy. Do you want to have dinner with me after the workshop? Yes. But what time do the restaurant close here? Oh, around, <laughs> around 7, 25 things. Okay. Yes, but what time do restaurants close here? Oh, around 7.25. Okay, so this is the way. Ah, well, we're missing one. Who helps me with the, with the last one? Quien me ayuda con el último? Okay, is there any volunteer over here? Otherwise, I will read it. Amanda has to take some reports, some many requirements on Monday. And what time do they open? They open around seven and a half or 7.30 or 8.01. Okay. Now let's see if we, yeah, we still have some time on here. So we're going to we're going to create uh, your schedule. Va vamos a trabajar en lo siguiente. Uh, well, what's the meaning of this word, people? How do you pronounce this word? Sexual. Yeah, no, I mean, how do you pronounce the word? Create your what? Schedule. Schedule. Create your schedule with all the things that you have to do during the week. Then, uh, it says go around, rounds, but then um, present it to the, to the classroom. Check other partner's schedule and ask, 
what time about their activities? Okay, this is this is the activity for everybody. Okay, in esta parte van a crear su schedule. ¿Quién me... Buscaron la, la, la pronunciación y el significado de schedule. What schedule, people? Hello, hello. Cronograma aún. Yeah, but it's... Uh, yeah, that's cronograma, right? But uh, a very common way to say is about horario, right? Horario. Create your schedule with all the things that you have to do during the week. Then go around the classroom and check your partner's schedule and ask the time about their activity. Okay, en esta parte de acá, Van a ser su horario. ¿Cómo son las oh, cuál a qué horas usted hace determinadas actividades? ¿Ok? Van a crear su horario de actividades. Ayer vimos la agenda. Ahora vamos con horario sema semanal. ¿Ok? Horario semanal. So there we're going to start with. Para crear ese horario, pues no creo que nos, nos llevemos más de 10 minutos. Así que a partir de este momento asigno 10 minutos para que creen su schedule, su horario. ¿Ok? Y que al mismo tiempo piensen cómo presentar ese horario. ¿Es that right? Page, the page that we, um, uh, we're working with is the 34. Estamos en la 34. So, 10 minutes, 10 minutos, para que ustedes creen su horario. The page where you can find out the info is page number uh, 34. Okay, everybody, are you working in your schedule? Estamos trabajando en el en horario. Hello, hello. Yes, teacher. Yeah, all right. So, okay, acuérdense todo lo que hemos estado viendo, como decir la hora, eh, la actividad, el día, etc.
Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Did you create your schedule? Or do you need some more time? Necesitan más tiempo? Hello, hello, Henry? Yes, you can. Yeah, you mm -hmm. need some more time, okay. Uh -huh. right. Let's see, let's give what? Well, let's, I will give you like, like two or three minutes more. Well, okay, then we are going to start. Okay, I think now, yes, it's enough, right? I will stop sharing and let us start. Let us start talking about schedule. Schedule and activities you do during the week. Mm -hmm. uh, let us start with Jennifer. Jennifer Rivas. Hello, Jennifer. We are all ears. Hello, teacher. Hello. Aún no he terminado. Are you haven't finished yet? Okay, now try to finish it. Henry? No finished, teacher. Are you, ha you haven't finished yet? Okay, let me see. Esperanza? Jessica? No finish. Ah, okay. Not you haven't finished yet. Jessica. Tampoco terminado, did you? Uh, okay, so uh, well. Take take some some minutes more, okay? So if if we're not able to see tonight, we're gonna see it tomorrow. Okay, take like a couple of minutes more.
No, let, let me know when you finish, please, because I, I, need, I need to see if you have already finished. Uh, okay, Wendy. Uh, it's all right, Wendy. Let us know about your schedule, please. Okay. Every day at 4 a.m. I go out. Later at 5 a.m. I go to work all day. Usually around 5 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. I get home. Finally, I night the end. I got to the end. That's it. Did you finish, Wendy? Yes. Okay, very good. Well, uh, what I really like about you is that you also investigated about the way to say yo usualmente, right? Uh, usually, something that I haven't taught yet. Eso es clave, ¿verdad? Algo que yo no lo he enseñado, pero igual ustedes lo están usando. Ya ven, eso es genial. Let me see. Is there, is there anybody else? Anybody else in the group, please? Only one, not everybody at the same time. Well, let's see, if, if you haven't finished it yet, si no lo han terminado todavía, ok, no se preocupen. Mañana lo vamos a seguir, con lo, vamos a empezar con eso, ok, con el schedule. Schedule, what's your schedule? Um, what are the activities that you do at work? And tell us about the specific time, right? You develop those activities. That, that is the, that is the, um, the task for you to do. Okay, now let's see. It's because we need to, to see what's coming next. Oh, uh, well, well, I will check the list of attendance first. Voy a pasar la lista. Tal vez en lo que paso la lista, pues ya todos están listos con su presentación del horario Okay, uh, Carlos Josué. Carlos Josué. Denise. Edgardo Daniel. Edwin Osvaldo. Well, a lot of people missed today. Erwin Nilsson, I saw Erwin Nilsson in the classroom. Eh, Esperanza. Present. Evelyn Yanira. Fatima Michel. Gabriela Jasmin. Henry Giovanni. Present teacher. Jennifer Guadalupe. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Be Beltrán. Present teacher. Julio Cesar. 
Podia ser assim. E aí, Carla, aí sou Carla, there. Carla Mendoza. Lady Cecibel. I didn't see lady. Yeah, lady was over here. I saw lady. Luis Jose. I didn't see Luis. Obed. Wendy Carolina. Present. Okay. William Aristides. William is not here. Uh, Jennifer Madali. Present teacher. And Jessica Noemi. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Now, yes, right, I think that you had enough time to finish. Now, let me see. Well, Jennifer, are you ready with your schedule? Jennifer Hernandez. Hello. Hello, hello. Are you ready? No, coach. Me había sacado de la plataforma y me costó volver a entrar. Me tuve oh. que registrar nuevo okay, y, y reiniciar. Ahí lo notifiqué en el grupo. Ok. Ok, so be, be ready for tomorrow, ok? Estén preparados para mañana, los que tuvieron dificultad este día. Henry, what about you? Hello, Henry. Hello, teacher. Not, are you ready now? Um, bueno, para ser honesto, como me cuesta un, un montón, pero sí tengo algunas cosas, por lo menos como lunes um, y martes. <laughs> okay, okay, Henry. Share it. You know, you know what we're going to do. Eh, comparta lo que tiene y mañana le damos seguimiento. Ya nos, nos hace la presentación completa, ¿ok? Ok, uh, bueno, my schedule, schedule um, en Monday. It is 25 to 4. I get up at 4 a.m. I take the bus to San Salvador. I again start off the working day. 12 o'clock. I have lunch with my office mate. 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Work meeting. Work meeting. And Tuesday, uh, five five twenty a.m. I get up and get ready for work. Okay. Uh, um, at eight a.m. to twelve p.m. I usually visit community to strengthen process. 15 past 12 p.m. Lunch. 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Working community strength leaders. Finish, teacher. Okay, so... Eh... Menos mal le cuesta, Henry, pero en, usted dice que le cuesta, pero en realidad veo que es lo contrario. Porque, pues, está pronunciando mejor y está pronunciando más inglés. Así que, ánimos que veo que sí va en el camino correcto. Ok, gracias. Ok. Esperanza, are you ready now? Eh, solo una parte hice, Tito. Pero oh. yo lo hice en general. 
Okay, okay, go ahead with that info. Yeah. Get up, uh, five. Yeah. Usually uh, meditation and yoga certain minutes. Uh, prepare uh, breakfast and take a shower. Uh, go to work. Uh, work. A um twelve lunch back uh, one uh, a fine storm a home hasta ahí solo es estuve sí Okay, Esperanza, that's that was really nice. Okay, your effort is it's fantastic. But for tomorrow, remember that you, you're going to have uh, more time, right? Recuerden que este mañana vamos a iniciar con lo mismo, verdad? Con cómo es el horario de actividades que, que, que tienen durante la semana, qué es lo que hacen y a qué horas lo hacen. Eso es lo que estamos haciendo o tratando de, de crear ahorita, crear esa información. Eh, no demos por sentado que ya, como ya lo dije, ya, ya mañana ya no voy a participar. No, porque mientras más practiquemos es mejor. Si, si me toca volverlo a decir, ok, a lo mejor el teacher ha observado algo que pues todavía no, no está del todo pulido y hay que seguirlo trabajando. Así que eh, mañana vamos a seguir con eso, ok. Uh, Jessica. Eh, yeah, yeah. Hola, teacher. Hello, hello. Hola. Sí lo tengo, pero hay palabritas que me cuesta pronunciarlo, teacher. Ok, go ahead, Jessica. Eh, dice, my word, my, my word schedule from, from Monday to Friday, from 73, seven, 7030 again in half to market call to clientes, no sé cómo se dice en inglés. Customers eh, or clients, eh, clients or customers. Clients eh, clientes Ay. Eh, un, un, a las 12, no sé cómo se pronuncia. At noon. A noon. A, a noon. To eleven in from twelve. Twelve. Twelve or four in lunch. Y at. Y at. On in PM. Y hat to market ay invoice in, eh, recibir, eh, recibir llama, hacer llamadas no sé cómo se dice en inglés make phone calls make phone calls eh, eh, y facturar documentos tampoco ok so let us do something then Vamos a hacer algo entonces, como todavía no está completo, sigámoslo trabajando y mañana, ok, sin leer la info, hay que practicarlo muchas veces y este okay. mañana de un solo, ok, si yo digo por ejemplo Jennifer, que okay, Jennifer ya, este, ya sabe cuál es la, la, la actividad y ya de un solo ya va a decir cómo, cómo es su schedule, ok, schedule, okay. Entonces, schedule. Como la agenda que estábamos haciendo, pero ahora con, con los horarios. Sí, acuérdense que la agenda es diaria, ¿verdad? Y ahora es un horario semanal. Eh, ah, yo con, lo hice con, de esa manera, teacher, por, perdón. 
perdón, eh, uh, yo okay. lo, hice de esa lo hice de esa manera general porque es lo que se hace todos los días, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, no tengo un día que no haga eso, ¿verdad? Ah, oh, es, es la misma actividad Diga, todas las veces. Ajá, de 7.30 a 12, eh, hacer llamadas, hablarles clientes. Eh, Luego en la tarde, eh, este, facturar y archivar documentos, ¿verdad? Y no tienen, digamos, si tienen alguna reunión eh, por eh, ahí. Son, son, sí, sí hay reuniones, pero son así como de repente, ¿verdad? A veces dicen... <risa> Eh, lunes hay reunión, pero lo dicen en la mañana, ¿verdad? Vaya, entonces, sí, de, eh, esa, esa es parte de la dificultad de, de la tarea, porque si, si varía su schedule, entonces ahí explíquenos, ¿verdad? Que su schedule no es un schedule que, que siempre va a estar eh, con las mismas actividades, eh, sino que de repente, ¿cómo dicen de repente? Entonces, Usted, usted nos lo puede explicar mañana diciendo o, o investigando esa palabra. Pues de repente nos dicen que hay reunión tal día. Entonces, eso es lo que yo quiero, justamente eso, que nos expliquen cómo es su horario con sus, con sus pros y sus contras y este, con sus variantes también. Eso es lo que yo necesito, ¿ok? Para ah. mañana. Mm, okay. Va, está bien, ya entendí. Ok. Let me see. Daniel, thank you, Jessica. Da Daniel? Present teacher. Okay. Okay, Daniel, uh, did you get it? Did you get your schedule? ¿Ya tiene su horario, Daniel? Well, it seems as if Daniel has some problems with microphone. Eh, Gabriela. Hello, Gabriela. Well, anyways, tomorrow we're going to have our time. Esperemos que mañana, si no nos dé mucho problema eh, técnicos, ahora sí nos costó un poquito porque pues casi no pudimos interactuar todos. A mí me encanta que los grupos pues interactúen, que pues que um, uh, participemos eh, continuamente. Ok, y que pues que la clase fluya eh, con normalidad. Lastimosamente algunas eh, ocasiones pues nos falla el internet o hay alguna falla técnica que nosotros en realidad pues lastimosamente no podemos solventar. Pero vamos a tratar de cerrar la clase con lo siguiente. Sí. So you see, tomorrow you are going to see uh, the video for the topic we have been studying tonight, okay? How to use questions with what time? This is our topic, okay? And this is the exercise that's in the platform. Recuérdense que en la plataforma es sumamente importante que resuelvan cada una de las tareas, okay? This is homework number 13, okay? It is 20 points graded. So if you if you're able to open the the platform now, it would be really nice, right, to see it. What time is it? What is the best option to to answer that question? 
the force? What time is it? It's a forty-five. It's yes. a. It's at a forty-five. Ah, so it's the first one then. No, sí. Yeah, it's the la first. Letra, la tercero. Yeah, it's a forty-five. Okay. Number two, what time does the class start? The difference is at, in, mm. or on. The first one, the second, or the third one? It starts at, at six. It starts at six. Uh, it's, this, it's this one, at. Yes. Okay, it starts at six. Number three, what time do you arrive at work? At, in, at. At about 8.30, in about 8.30, at about 8.30 o'clock. La tercera. This one? 8.30 o'clock? At about 8.30. No. Que yo ya lo hice, pero no me recuerdo. At about 8.30 or at about... At about 8.30. At about uh, 8.30. Number four, what time does the, the academy close? It usually on 8 p.m., usually around 8 p.m., or usually in 8 p.m. The second one, usually around 8 p.m. What time do you usually go to bed? It's 10.45, it starts at 10.45, at about 10.45. At about 10.45. At about 10.45, let's see. And we finish with this tonight. You see the first one is all right. What time is it? It's 8.45. What time does the class start? It starts at six. What time do you write up work? At about 8.30. What time does the academy close? Usually around 8 p.m. What time do you usually go to bed? At about 10.45, that's it. Okay, so I, I hope you can solve it at home and you take advantage of the exercise. So I wonder if you have any questions? Do you have any question, any comment? How was tonight? How was the activity for tonight? Was uh, very difficult. Sintero que estuvo muy difícil el, el, el crear el horario. Por cuestiones de, de tiempo, teacher, que En el caso mío, siempre necesito estar traduciendo para entender un poquito de lo que tengo que hacer. Es bien poco lo que, lo que sé, pero sí. Ok. Interesante. Ok, Henry. No, la verdad es que este, eh, yo siempre les recomiendo que tengan por ahí unas sus tres pestañitas abiertas de diccionarios, traductor o alguna herramienta eh, que ustedes consideren les va a servir en la clase para pues este tomar ventaja del tiempo, ¿ok? Si tenemos las las herramientas adecu adecuadas, las pestañitas adecuadas, pues como que se nos puede facilitar un poco más la clase, ¿no? los ejercicios. Eh, pero está bien, yo sé que hay diferentes ritmos de aprendizaje, Pues yo ya parece que se lo dije en algún momento. Yo me considero un, un aprendiz lento. Yo aprendo lento, pero yo siento que lo que aprendo, lo aprendo bastante bien. Y hay otras personas que aprenden rápido y también lo aprenden bastante bien. Entonces, yo entiendo eso. Hay ritmos de aprendizaje. No se preocupen por eso. Por eso les estoy dejando la misma actividad para el día de mañana. ¿Ok? Que el día de mañana ya ustedes que vengan bien preparados. Y lo primerito, revisar la tarea, ¿ok? Revisar lo que nos quedó pendiente el día de ahora. 
¿Está bien? So, eh, Wendy. No. No more comments, no more questions. Comment. Ok, Henry. Eh, no, Tizia, eh, solamente comentarle que todos los días de la semana que falta, pues creo que voy a conectarme hasta como a las nueve, porque no sé, del teléfono no me he podido conectar, entonces he intentado conectarme mientras vengo en camino y no puedo. Pero siempre, aunque sea más tarde de lo normal, yo me conecto. Ok, recuérdense que hay personas encargadas de darle seguimiento a su asistencia e inclusive este, eh, cuando yo paso lista, ahí aparece automáticamente cuánto tiempo usted se mantiene conectado en la clase. Entonces es bien, es bien importante que ustedes no, 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 de, no pasen eh, desapercibida esa, esa información que siempre la mantengan en, en, en cuenta, estar en la clase, que yo sé que hay, hay atrasos, pero igual eh, lo que hacen algunas personas, como dice Henry, pues yo en el camino me conecto, ticha, hay veces que algunos se, este, vienen de copiloto pues, y vienen conectados ahí en el, en el vehículo, ¿verdad? No les recomiendo que vengan manejando y vengan conectados, no, mejor este... Lleguen a casita sanos y salvos y de ahí se conectan, eso sí. No sé si hay otro comentario o pregunta. Si no, pues nos vemos mañana. It's been a pleasure as always. Siempre es un placer eh, atenderlos. Otra, otro, solo, solo una observación. Sí les voy a pedir que, que por favor que, que mantengamos nuestras cámaras activas. Eh... Ustedes no se dan cuenta, pero al, algunas veces a nosotros nos llaman la atención porque eh, los participantes no activan su cámara. Entonces, es bien importante. Yo sé que es bien difícil porque es cierto, cuando todas las cámaras están activadas, algunas veces eh, Zoom da problema y nos empieza a sacar. ¿verdad? Pero si eso sucede, pues tratemos de volver a, a conectar. Okay. Eso es lo de menos, ¿verdad? Yo creo que todos, yo creo que todos tenemos jornadas un poquito difíciles, pero no, no, es importante que, que, que si nos activemos, activemos nuestra cama. Ya me dio risa. Hey, jóvenes, nos vemos mañana. Ha sido un placer. Tons of blessings. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Nice. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Okay, good night. Good night. Good night.